Hi, this is Anthony Godino with a review on Firefox 32, which was released on September 2nd, 2014. If you're a Firefox user, you know that uh, new rapid release updates come once every six weeks, and the last one was released on July 22nd, 2014. So let's take a look at what's new in Firefox 32. As always, there have been several bug fixes and fixes to security vulnerabilities. In this case, over 3,200 in total. Um, in terms of um, uh, Firefox features, Firefox has introduced a new HTTP um, cache which was designed to improve performance, for example, with load time speed as well as when reloading um, from a browser crash recovery. Um, if you're one who tinkers with uh, Firefox preferences, you will see a new preference um, called the browser dot cache dot disk dot preload chunk count and uh, basically what it does is um, it loads uh, you know four chunks of data um, in advance by default and each chunk is about 256 KB for a total of 1 MB um, again I don't want to get too technical here so let's move on in Firefox 32 um, public key pinning support has been enabled and uh, in doing so uh, Firefox has enhanced the security by ensuring that trusted certificate authorities have issued valid certificates for websites rather than accepting the built-in root uh, certificates, uh, which simply means that um, this is uh, going to help prevent the man-in-the-middle attacks due to certificates uh, issued by road certificate authorities. So Firefox has placed this um, uh, site identity uh, button or icon uh, for each site that you visit and if you click on it uh, you know you will see um, this little drop down with a little more details um, on the certificate and you can actually get even more information if you click this more information button. Um, you will see you know one of these icons um, uh, when you visit websites and each of these icons basically mean different th things. Uh, the first two icons here are more of the verified versions and uh, provide more encryption whereas the other ones are sort of not um, uh, supplied uh, the identity information and uh, may be uh, partially encrypted. Um, additionally they have um, removed the 1022-bit root certificates as part of the cleanup. So these are the ones they have uh, actually removed. And this pinning is actually going to be happening in stages um, as per the Mozilla Wiki web page. Uh, this is their web page. And as you can see right here, these are the ones that were implemented in Firefox 32. And uh, this is what they plan to do in Firefox 33, 34 and onwards. Um, so next, um, the context menu. If you uh, right-click in a blank section of uh, you know um, a web page in Firefox, you will see this context menu, and this is the one that's you know, the, the one that you see is in Firefox 31, and it basically uh, you know helps with uh, the back, forward, reloading, and bookmarking. Um, and so when you compare it to the Firefox 32 version, which is this one right here to your right. Uh, you will see that it looks a little bit different. It's more graphical with icons uh, that you see right here. And I personally prefer this uh, this new one. It's a subtle change, but uh, a good one. Another small change uh, is in the find functionality. So um, this is my uh, blog, and uh, let's just say I want to you know find a specific term on uh, on a web page. In this case, uh, let's just say. I want to look for the term iPhone. So if I click Control F for find, uh, you will notice that uh, at the bottom of the page right here, uh, you will see this uh, little search uh, bar with a search box. And uh, this, as I mentioned, is in Firefox 31. If you look at it in Firefox um, 32, okay, <clears throat> this is what it looks like. As you can see, it now shows uh, or displays the number of found items. So in this case, I'm looking for you know iPhone, um, and it's showing that this is uh, one of 49 matches found. Um, not too many people may use it, but I find this useful for the work that I do. Uh, moving on, for developers, 
Um, there have been uh, some changes as well and uh, some new features. The first one being the new web audio editor um, that has been included. They've also added code completion and uh, inline documentation to Scratchpad and the high DPI support in the developer tools user interface. Um, I'm not going to go um, into the full list, but uh, you can actually check uh, the full list of Firefox changes by visiting the Firefox 32 release notes webpage. Um, I ran a browser benchmark uh, or benchmark test using Peacekeeper like I usually do. And overall, um, there was a great improvement in performance compared to the previous Firefox version. And uh, though Google Chrome is still ahead, as you can see from the numbers on the screen, uh, it's just slightly. Uh, in fact, f um, Firefox has increased about 200 points from the last one. And Google Chrome has actually dropped uh, about 200 points. So uh, overall, I'm, I'm quite impressed by uh, this new update. Um, again, it may be a little too early. But uh, from what I see, uh, uh, you know, I, I like it. So that's, um, you know, what uh, the Firefox 32 update is in a nutshell. Uh, please feel free to share your experience using Firefox. And uh, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, you will also find, uh, you know, a whole bunch of um, Firefox helps, uh, help video tutorials on my YouTube channel. And uh, if you've got any questions, uh, you know, you can feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thank you.